What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, welcome to, I think it's part four now, we're on this EK build. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of work to be done and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And yeah, I'm just cracking on the best I can with my own ability. Obviously, I'm not the best at everything. I'm not perfect at everything, but it's a learning curve for me. And obviously, I'll learn from my mistakes and learn from other people doing these builds also. Um, I will show you how I'm going to start the video today as it's obviously it's Friday morning, I believe. I had to have a day off yesterday because my back is just awful as usual. Um, I'm going to show you where we're at and what, what the plan is today. Right, I know if you remember the last video, this place was an absolute pigsty. Um, I've just tidied it up, basically, um, and sort of give myself a clear out. Obviously, it's not 100% tidy over there, but until I can move the car in the position I want it, it can stay messy. So it's over here when I'm working, I need it clean. Right, so today you can see the parts for the exhaust. There's um, a flexi. Obviously, every exhaust needs one. That's a 40 mil, is it 44 mil pipe for the screamer? If I want to make um, a new screamer pipe, that's what I'm going to use out of. Back box, um, three inch, obviously, um, connecting joint on the end. So it can go on my three inch pipe. And obviously, there's a length of three inch pipe. So that's the exhaust system stuff there. Obviously, we've got the down pipe over there. It's left where I left the last video. That's how it is. Um, we have the couplers, um, the joiners to go from the intercooler to the boost pipes. Obviously, that's going to be better to run 90s off of there. And um, I'm trying to think what else we've got. I've got the parts for the Dremel, so I can finish off the fuel system now. I've got the fuel filter down here. The fuel filter is there. Um, so we can get the fuel system done. We can get quite a lot done. So the plan is to get as much can, as much as I've done, as much as I can done. I'll get there in a minute, guys. It's early in the morning. Um, and yeah, I want to get obviously the downpipe done. I might get a filled up with fluids today and, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe start it. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to have a look. I'm not 100%, I'm not rushing, I don't like need to start, I'm like, yeah, I want to start, I mean, but I know you guys like to see this started and now I'm thinking, yeah, the content's good, but I want to get, I want to get the fuel system butted up first, I think, once that's on, I'll be happy, and then maybe go straight to the downpipe and finish it off, or I might bolt them up first. I'm going to jump on with it now and I'll uh, go through the progress as I'm doing it. So, I've been cracking on, guys, and... Yeah, little bit by little bit, she's getting there. Um, got the two 90s put on, fit much better. Um, may have to trim a little bit of it just to be safe, but yeah, they're fitting lovely. Um, fuel system's all done. So obviously you've got the, the feed and the return there. Um, come down, you've got your fuel filter here. Obviously it's attached to the, it's all attached together to one system, so anything fueling. It'll be along the same lines if there's any leaks or whatever, it'll be along the same lines. Um, yeah, and it goes, and obviously up here, that's the return from the rail, and then obviously you see underneath, it goes to that side, and that's the feed. So that's all in. Um, put the oil feed on, basically buttoned up everything. I mean, if I wanted to, I could really start the car now, but um, gonna wait for the time. Uh, gonna carry on with the downpipe now, get that finished, I think. Um, Grab some lunch first, as I've been hard at it. But yeah, you can start to see how she's gonna look, man. She's um, she's gonna be a nice car. I'm, I'm buzzing for it. So yeah, let me just have a bit of lunch and then I'm gonna crack on with a downpipe. I don't know. I might try and get a start by the end of the day. Let's see. We'll see how I feel. All right, guys. So I've been cracking on, and um, basically what I've just done is. Practically finished the downpipe. Uh, yeah, I'm using a MIG, electric MIG welder, so obviously it's not the best welds, but I'm making sure that I get the heat through it and it's getting full penetration. Um, and obviously it's more solid than looks. Downpipe's gonna be wrapped anyway, so you won't see the welds. But yeah, she's um, she's full penetration all the way through, so the, the system is pretty solid. But I've just obviously finished the downpipe. Well, I've got a weld on a V-band jet, I'll do that in a minute. Um, and I've got to make a little kink tiny little kink well i'll show you now i'll show you what i mean so right we've got the downpipe there going down 
down this way. Um, and then it obviously goes under here. So, yeah. So it goes to there like that. And then obviously it's facing towards this way a bit. So I'm gonna have a slight kink to straighten it up. I'm gonna run it down the tunnel, obviously. Um, now, I see a, a picture on another, uh, I think it's Boosted Boys website, what might have been the K20.org um, on Facebook. I'm not sure, one of them two. And they had like a, a little straight pipe off the downpipe and then had the exhaust like sort of at the back um, in the tunnel with a tip facing down. Now, I'm debating on doing that at the moment because I think it would look good. Like, as in no exhaust at the back, basically, and obviously I think it'll be good underneath the car. Um, I'm not sure what the noise will be like inside the car, but yeah, I'm gonna look to maybe do that and um, see. I'm gonna have a look at the route under the car. If the exhaust, I think it's just easy enough to make under the car. If, if not, I'll just do what I said because it's got a box to go on it anyway, and it can be done inside the tunnel. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little think about that. But I, I want to start it now. Actually, I can start it. Like I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of a, a, bit eager to start it. Basically, so yeah. But as I said, it, it is getting done. Um, you can see the kink in it. It's the way it's got a kink down. But I've still got my all my pipes. I've got a, a decent gap between them. That's going to be wrapped as well, so that'll make a difference. But. Um, now I've got a decent gap between them. I've got more heater pipe to make. I've got another load turn up down there. Um, and then I've got a bit of um, solid pipe coming. So I'm gonna make some joiner and have the heater pipe practically like steel um, and close to the block. And so the only bit of rubber that's gonna be on it is that 90 kink that you can see just down there. And then that 90 kink that's on there. Well, there will be a 90 kink on there. And then it's going to go around the downpipe. So, yeah. That's the plan. But, yeah, coming along. So, I'm going to carry on doing the bit of welding and that and getting the downpipe completely finished today. And then I might whack the wastegate on for the time. And um, as I don't plan to do too much more things, I'm seeing my kids. So, yeah, I'm just going to crack on and uh, show you where I get. So, guys, I've been smashing it out as always and yeah obviously down pipe still on not touch that but this is the exhaust <laughs> short and sweet you're probably looking think that's bent yeah it's meant to have a little kink in it because oh, the way it sits if you see the that end of it is pointing down a little bit so i want to sort of kick it up in the arch a little bit and then basically um let me get back under and show you i didn't say it oh. Yeah, so obviously it's going to come along under here. The tip of it is probably going to sit here and then we're going to point it down. So that's going to be facing down and then obviously I've got to buy it. I'm waiting for some um, four inch um, stainless to come so I can make the pie cut to bend it down. And obviously, yeah, we're going to have it just underneath the car. I've got some hangers here, um, one right there. And I'm going to make one the other side. Um, and then yeah, I've got some uh, hard race like bushes, some red ones, hard, like to hold the exhaust in place. And yeah, we're gonna just mount it like that, basically. That's the plan. Um, hopefully it works. So we shall see. But yeah, it's all welded up and all done. Um, and I can't wait to hear how it sounds. It's gonna be nice and stealth for that under there. Buzzing. All right, now. Nah. I'm practically done on the exhaust system. And I hope to say, it's come out all right. I mean, obviously, as I said, the world's ain't pretty. Not gonna be using a, where is it my point? Electric MIG welder, um, no argon. Obviously I've got argon for my TIG, but I'm not good enough for TIG. I've been in the other videos, I explained it. I'm not good enough for TIG yet. Still learning TIG. Um, but let me show you the exhaust bolted up and the, obviously I explained it a minute ago, but I wanna show you now it's bolted up. And I think it's looking alright, so. Right, let me get under and show you. Ooh, God, I'm getting old. Ooh. Right, so yeah, we're bolted on there. That's where the back box's gonna sit. I'm gonna see get a hanger from here. 
Um, well, the hanger on. Um, I've got the, the bar over there, if you see it on the floor, tiny bit bar. Yeah, I can weld that on and um, get that sat there nice. And then the tip, I'm gonna have a tip that's gonna be cut and then it's gonna be like slash cut and pie cut down. So the pie cut's gonna be down. So it's not pointing towards the car, but, or the fuel tank, should I say. There's plenty of room between the handbrake cable and the fuel tank, so I think it's gonna be pretty stealth. I like it, I do like it. So that's the exhaust system, 80% complete really, guys. Um, yeah, not bad, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's looking all right, I hope it sounds all right, but I hope it don't make too much noise in the car. But yeah, I've got some strong bushes. I'm gonna make a bracket either side, hopefully. And then uh, once it's done either side, I don't think we should have much movement on the exhaust. Obviously we've got the flexi there for any engine movement. I think it should be all right, guys. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I don't, I'm done just debating whether to finish this today. It's gonna to be a little bit of work to do that. So um, debating what to do. I'll have a think and explain. Okay, guys, cause I was in the zone, I decided to not finish it because um, I need to order another Powerflex bush. Um, I'll be bringing up the sponsor XL Racing, getting him to send me one of his ones um, straight away. But I'm I'm really happy with the way it's come out. Um, I've done one hanger. I'm going to do a hanger the other side. I'm going to have to weld it to the car because the car hasn't got one that side. And I'm going to obviously weld it off the exhaust as well. Let me show you. Right. So there she is. She's sitting up all herself at the moment, but look, this is why she needs another hanger. Bit too loose. We've got one on each side with their solid rubbers. I think that'll stop it from moving as much. Um, so yeah, really, really chuffed with that. At the moment, really chuffed. Can't wait, that's gonna be scooping down, can't wait. But yeah, that's a full exhaust system. From downpipe onwards, so. We are all set, guys. Um, next job will be boost pipes and things like that. I could start up today, man. I, I was thinking about it, but I'm not going to, man. Sorry, guys. I know everyone's thinking, oh, I just started. Oh. Nah, sorry. I'm just going to wait because obviously all the vac pipes are not attached well, so it's going to be idling like a, a nutter. Um, and just also, I don't really need to start, you know, like, oh, I'm just excited about getting it finished. Uh, I know it's going to start, as I said, like, it's just the same setup from when I had the other K engine in. I just literally just changed it, same wire, and I know it's going to be the same. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother starting it. I'll do a couple of little more bits quickly, and then I'm going to wrap this video up for you guys. All right, guys, so we've been progressing again. I did not plan to go this far today as I went and see my little girls, but I was so in the zone and I thought, you know what, let's just crack on and uh, sooner it's done, the sooner I can drive it. So now I'm gonna start wrapping up the video today, another video for you for the weekend. And um, I was gonna go through a little recap on what we've done today and where we're standing. Right guys, so this is how she is. She's very, very close now to being done. Um, just got, Typical. Um, just got the boost part sort of mocked up. Um, got them on the floor there. I've got to take some. Got to take obviously the blow off valve off that one methanol thing and parts like that. Um, sort of um, measured up when we have it. We're obviously going the air temp sensor going there. Methanol is going to be going there, so I can run down. We'll see my fuel lines, and then I can sort of clamp it with the fuel lines to go straight into there. Um, blow off valve. I'm going to put it on the turbo side. I mean, I don't. As far as I know, you can do that, and that's like, as far as I know, it's fine. I've had it before on other cars. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and have it here. I don't know if it's recommended or not, but that's the way I'm gonna have it, or the only way I can have it. If not, if it's not recommended and it's a bad idea, then I'm gonna have to try and adapt something on this pipe. But boost piping's done. Um, fuel, so today we've done a fuel system. That's all buttoned up. Boost pipes are all buttoned up. Obviously, you've got the wastegate on. I'll worry about that later. Got the downpipe and exhaust, full exhaust system finished today. Um, as you can see, she's all sitting under there nice. Um, got the back box to finish, obviously, in one more hanger, so 90% done. Um, and yeah, progressing nicely, basically. So, 
going to take this down. It's either Tuesday or Thursday with Craig and get the radiator done. I'm going to ask him why I'm there, if he can just uh, whack a couple of lips on the end of the boost pipes for me over here. So that, uh, yeah, obviously I don't pop off when I'm under boost as these have just been cut and obviously straight cuts do pop off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to ask him if he can do them and get that sorted like that. Once that's sorted, I'll be happy. Um, we're really on the last legs now. Um, and obviously once this is all back and that next week, I'm going to wrap the, I'm going to finish off the exhaust. And then I'm going to wrap the downpipe um, all the way underneath. So you can, don't have seen the disgusting welds, but as long as they hold, I don't really care. It needs to be wrapped anyway. I'm not wrapping it just because of the welds. I'm wrapping it because it needs to be wrapped due to keep the heat in because obviously it's quite tight in there and we've got power steering line, heater uh, matrix line. So it's going to be, it's going to be close. So but we've got so much done today. Don't look it, but it actually has, like, has got a lot done. So yeah, happy. So there you go guys, another episode buttoned up for you. Sorry I didn't really do no time lapse in this one. I just whacked for it again. Uh, and got sort of all the welding done really. And all the boost pipe mocked up, all fuel system done. Happy, happy. So I've got to try and mount my catch tank somewhere under there. It's a bit big. I've got an idea where I want to mount it, but looking now, I don't know if it's going to fit. So I'm gonna have to adapt something for that as well. Um, and then yeah, after that, it's just gonna be put the radiator in once it's all done, put the boost pipes in when they're all done, tighten everything up underneath the bay, make sure, and then look to so get the catch tank in, and then it's gonna be the interior of the car, getting the wiring done, getting all the uh, methanol wired in, things like that, basically all the gauges and things like that. So got that to come yet, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series, um, and hope you're liking the progression. I'll see you in the next one next week. Take care. See you soon, guys.